What's up, everybody? It's your boy Stevie the Black. That's S T E V double E the Black. I'm back, and I've got another breaking news video today. So if you saw the channel a couple, uh, when did I make this video? I made it Sunday. If you saw my video of the Eagle fan goes up on the Cowboy fans, you really need to see it because I give my perspective on what it's about and how I feel about the Cowboys winning. But I want to add something to that that I didn't think of until after I made the video, and that is this. I said in the video that I hate it when the Cowboys win because the Cowboy fans come out of hiding and they don't shut up about how, oh my god, we're going to the Super Bowl, yada, 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 that, Prescott did that, Prescott did that. Okay, first of all, it's rumored that Tony Romo is going to be back week eight. That that puts him against the Eagles in Sunday Night Football. So I'm definitely, you know, kind of like, ugh. I want it to be Dak Prescott because I want us to shut him down. But if Tony Romo is going to be back, fine, whatever. Can't do nothing about that. But! I think, like T.O. used to do, I guess you can say, Jerry says, and Dak said, this is still Tony's team, but Dak is winning over the Cowboy fans. He's winning over Jason Garrett. He's winning over Jerry Jones. So let me ask you this. When Tony Romo is able to come back, will Jerry let him? When Tony Romo is able to come back, will anybody stick up for him? I know Jason Witten will. I know he will. But will Dez, will Cole Beasley, will Jason Garrett, will Tony, will Jerry Jones, Tony Romo's father, daddy, football daddy, will he stick up for him? We'll see. But I brought that up to say this. I understand that I hate when the Cowboy fans win and the Cowboys win, but I love it even better when the Cowboys win and then they let you down. Because the Cowboys thing is, we're America's team. But that's not their slogan. Their slogan is, we hype you up to drag you down. And I say that to say this. Do you remember two years ago when they won the NFC East and they were 12-4 and four and everyone was raving about how the Cowboys were back and this and that and that and this? Do you remember that? And do you remember how they looked out and beat the Lions? Although there were things in that game that really should have been favoring the Lions, but whatever. But then, you all remember the, the game against Green Bay. How it was a catch, how it wasn't a catch, it doesn't matter. Some people say, like Skip Bayless says, they would have beat Green Bay, they would have went on to Seattle, and then they would have lost to the Patriots. But here's the thing about the Cowboys. I said I hate it when they lose. But I secretly like it when they win. And here's why. Because as I said, their slogan is, we hype you up to bring you down. And I say that to say this. I say that a lot. I just got finished watching the first take a while ago, so excuse me if I sound like Stephen A. But my name is Stephen too. Stephen E. But what happens if the Cowboys win the NFC East? What happens if the Cowboys are dominating and they're just winning and the Cowboy fans are hyped up and hyped up and hyped up and they're saying, we can win the Super Bowl. We can do it. And then they get in the Super Bowl or they get in the game that they need to win and then they completely flop and I'm not talking like flop and then fight back I'm talking flop like how the Steelers flopped against the Steelers the Steelers flopped against the Eagles where they didn't show up at all or how the Texans were handled against the Patriots where the Texans didn't score nothing all of that hype and then for them to go down like that I would love it. And Stephen A says the same thing. And I kind of agree with him on that. I love it more when they lose. Don't get me wrong. But then the Cowboy fans come up with their excuses. But when they win. And then they lose. Badly. Or when something doesn't go their way. They'll still whine and complain anyway. Because they're Cowboy fans. That's just what they do. But. I love it even more. Because then I can go to my friends who are Cowboy fans and say. Hey what happened man? You said you were going to go all the way. But they bring you down. They let you down. It's what they do. And why am I talking about the Cowboys? What does it have to do with a wrestling channel? Because that's what this is. The NFL's most popular player, as I would like to say, Cam Newton, is being sued by Stacey Keebler's husband. After the Super Bowl, we know how Cam was. He was down. He was beat. He, he, he just, he walked away from the post-game uh, review and everything like that. He bought a house, or rented a house, I'm sorry, in 
Beverly Hills. Oh, not a house, but a mansion. $11 million mansion, mind you. And the rule was simple. No parties, no smoking, and only up to eight people in the house. You know what Cam did? Not only did he mess up the house, not only is the house ruined and damaged, but he had parties up in there every night, cigarettes all over the floor, and how but it's like this dude was mental. Like you were told not to do something and you did the complete opposite of it. And I think they threw parties every night. And he had it for 61 days, I believe. That's a long time. That's about two months. So, Cam, what's up, bro? And and the fact that he's here right now and their record is one and three says something too. But I'm not counting them out yet because the Panthers, I think, will come back and find a way to get into the playoffs. Well, they won't get far because the way they're playing, Seattle will beat them or something like that. Or Minnesota, like they did this year so far. But don't count them out yet. If they're like one and five, which I doubt they'll be because they're facing the Buccaneers on Monday Night Football, they should be able to handle them. They should be able to handle them. Even without Cam Newton, they should be able to handle them. Because they still mounted a comeback in that game even though they lost to the Falcons. And I'm not scared about the Falcons either. I'm not. We haste them like week nine or ten. We'll shut them down. But it ain't about us. It's about Cam and how he messed up the house and he's being sued over and everything and he hasn't paid anything. So, so Cam not in a great place right now. He's being sued by Stacey Keebler's husband. He's got a 1-3 record right now. The Panthers ain't looking too hot. The defense is crap. What's going on, Cam? It's the Super Bowl curse. When you don't win the Super Bowl, it, it's like it's like you were there. You could see the prize, and you were reaching for that Lombardi trophy, but you just couldn't get it. Oh, well. Cam, gotta get it together, man. Gotta get it together, man. You gotta get it together. But that has been the breaking news video for today. Um, I know I did. I told you I was supposed to do the uh, Dolph Ziggler Cesaro thing, but yesterday I, I I couldn't get to my phone. My dad, I had to help my dad with stuff, and <coughs> I just couldn't get it done yesterday. So just expect it sometime this week. That's all I can promise. But I really can't because I gotta work today when I was supposed to be off today. I gotta work tomorrow. Wednesday, tomorrow, Thursday, and Friday, maybe Saturday, but I might have to work Saturday. So who knows when that video come out? But hopefully, no mercy just Sunday. So this could be Dolph Ziggler's last match and last SmackDown. I'll get it out on my predictions video. I'll talk about Dolph Ziggler in that predictions video, and then for Cesaro, I'll talk about it at a later time. So that has been the video breaking news video for today, and I will see you tomorrow for the uh. Smackdown live review and if you're not down with that, I've just got two words for you peace out